Hello my dear students, I warmly welcome you to CR Digital Classes. So now in this lecture, we are going to discussing about so one of the important theorem from this unit that is the, the orthogonal decomposition theorem. For the long answer purpose, this type of named questions are very very important. So the name of the theorem is the orthogonal decomposition theorem. Okay. So in the examination purpose also, you will get the statement in this format only. State and prove the orthogonal decomposition theorem. Okay. So that means we need to write down the statement of the theorem first of all. After that, we need to prove the theorem. Okay. So first of all, observe the statement of the theorem. Let capital W be a subspace of Rn. Okay. So we have one subspace amma already we have one vector space capital V that capital V we can take it as an Rn you know very well okay Euclidean space or subspace of real numbers capital V is equal to Rn is a vector space where n greater than r is equal to 1 in this vector space there is a subspace capital W there is a subspace capital W W is a subspace of Rn then each small y in Rn can be written uniquely in the form y is equal to y cap plus z. Okay. For each small y in for each small y in Rn. Okay. So here small y belongs to the vector space capital Vm. For each vector small y in Rn, the vector that vector we can be written in the unique formation that is y equal to y cap plus z okay if you take any vector small y belongs to rn that vector uniquely we can write always as y is equal to y is equal to y cap plus z y is equal to y cap plus z where y cap is the vector in subspace w okay this y cap whatever y cap is there that y cap belongs to in the subspace and z is in orthogonal complement of w z is orthogonal complement of w so that means orthogonal complement of w means z is any vector okay so for example if you take one line in this format okay so on this line there is one uh, vector z okay so that z is in w orthogonal means w perpendicular here z belongs to w perpendicular means here z is a non-zero vector that non-zero vector makes the orthogonal condition which each and every vector in w and the w lo manak vectors ela untai y cap format lo untai okay y cap format lo untai kabatti for each and every vector okay so in place of y cap if you take each and every vector it satisfies the orthogonal condition z into y cap is equal to zero so observe carefully capital V is a vector space in that vector space W is a subspace okay that W is a subspace in the W Y cap is a vector okay in the main vector space capital V small y is a vector that vector we can be written in the unique formation that is Y is equal to Y cap plus Z okay in that notation or in that representation Y cap is always belongs to that the subspace w and uh, the second element is z z is always belongs to that orthogonal complement of the w orthogonal complement of the w that is we can written as w perpendicular w perpendicular so and next here okay so we can see that the continuation statement amma so we can write y is equal to y cap plus z and continuation is in fact whenever you take if uh, a orthogonal basis that is u1 u2 up to sin u suffix p is an orthogonal basis okay that is an orthogonal basis of the subspace w okay then the orthogonal projection of y onto w is the orthogonal projection of y and e y and a point for example make capital v and small y for that point, orthogonal projection. Projection means it, it's a reflection or it's a shadow. So, okay, in terms of uh, real life, so projection is nothing but shadow. 
So, okay, here y is there. For that y, yeah, the projection is y cap. Okay, the projection of y onto capital W is given by y cap. Okay, y cap is equal to projection. Okay, okay, that is the shortcut form. Mama. Okay, in the simple shortcut form, we can write that value projection of y with respect to the W. Okay, total word ni manamela read jayalante projection of y. Okay, on the subspace W is given in the equation format that is y into u1 by u1 into u1 into u1 and y into u2 by u2 into u2 into u2 plus up to so on y into u suffix p by u suffix p into u suffix p into u suffix p. Actually, here y into u1 by u1 into u1 sorry, y into u1 by u1 into u1 it is a formula for the weight amma c1 and a weight ki formula okay you know very well so in the previous lecture also we discussed that topic and y into u2 by u2 into u2 it is the formula for the c2 c2 is the weight in a linear combination of an orthogonal basis whenever you take an orthogonal basis in this format amma u1 u2 up to some u sub x p we can write linear combination c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus up to so on c sub x n u sub x n equal to 0 okay here we have u1, u2 up to some u sub x n are the vectors. We have the values for them. But the, uh, to find the values of the weights c1, c2, c sub x n, the formula is given by in this format y, sub, y into u sub x p by u sub x p into u sub x p. Okay, this is the formula for the c sub x p where c sub x p is the weight, one of the weight in that linear combination. So, the projection is nothing but y cap that y cap has the formula that is the linear combination of the weights and vectors of the vector space capital V that is equal to Rn. So and the orthogonal complement local vector z that z we can write okay that z we can write y minus y cap that z we can write in that format z is equal to y minus y cap. And here our motto is we have to determine this formula. Y is equal to y cap plus z is there. Na? So we have to determine that formula. If you find that formula, from that formula we can determine any formula. Okay, so therefore, our formula is manam z is equal to rs coach. Z is equal to y minus y cap rs coach. Or else if you want to find out the y cap value, so therefore y minus z and go rasko y minus z okay so first of all we have to establish that formula after that we can find a z value we can find that projection y cap value also okay so in the statement of the the decomposition theorem okay in the statement of the orthogonal decomposition theorem what we are going to learn is whenever you take a vector in the vector space capital v for that vector we have unique representation y is equal to y cap plus z okay so here in rhs this y cap belongs to w okay and this z is belongs to orthogonal complement of the subspace w orthogonal complement of the subspace w so indirectly this unique representation is in the vector format in the vector space format we can write in this format, a capital V is equal to W joint W orthogonal complement W joint W W joint W sorry capital V is equal to W joint W orthogonal complement. This is the vector form. This is the vector space form. Okay, in the MSc mathematics level, you will study about this formula also. Okay, so that is capital V is equal to W joint w orthogonal complement vector kemo plus and symbol ni use chestamu vector spaces kemo joint and symbol ni use chestamu okay so that is the difference between the vector and the vector space in the the orthogonal decomposition theorem that means in this orthogonal decomposition theorem we are going to just study about that vectors okay one vector whenever you take a vector for that vector one projection is also there and one orthogonal complement is also there that is the sum y is equal to y cap plus z okay so with this theorem we are going to give the clarity is that this theorem has an extension that extension we are going to study in the higher classes okay this theorem has an extension 
that extension topics we are going to study in the higher classes that is the confirmation so next here observe the note point amma if y is equal to y cap plus z where the vector y cap is called the orthogonal projection of small y orthogonal here orthogonal projection we are calling it is projection is nothing but it's a reflection okay so whenever you put a image okay so projection is nothing but so simply in the general language we can say it's a uh, it's a shadow okay so therefore orthogonal projection of y here y is there for that y we have y cap y cap that y cap is the orthogonal projection orthogonal projection and it also satisfies the inner product value is equal to zero condition okay okay and it is written as projection of y on the projection of y on to the subspace w okay so we have to read that condition or we have to read that value as projection of y projection of y projection of y on to w on to w simply this total statement we are writing in this notation projection of y on to w that is a note point regarding okay so note point indicates that y is equal to y, y, y cap plus z is the unique representation in that unique representation the first vector y cap is called the orthogonal projection for which the main vector small y and uh, that orthogonal projection we can write in the words format projection of y on to w in the notation format projection of y on to w so after the note point so now we are going to see that the proof observe carefully let the orthogonal basis for a subspace w be u1 u2 up to some u sub xp okay orthogonal basis we are taking this set as orthogonal basis that means product of any two vectors is equal to 0 u1 into u2 is equal to 0 and u2 into u3 is equal to 0 up to so on u sub x p minus 1 into u sub x p is equal to 0 product of any two different vectors is equal to 0 that is the orthogonal basis for any vector small y the orthogonal projection of y onto w is given as okay so that is the set amma. in that set randomly if you take any vector that vector we are indicating with small y okay so that small y has one orthogonal projection okay it's a image on the subspace capital w that subspace uh, that projection is given as y cap is equal to the direct formula is y cap is equal to actually we can write that that formula in this format amma. so we can write that formula y cap is equal to c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus up to so on c sub xp u sub xp in this format we can write that formula here you know very well the values this total y into u1 by u1 into u1 is the c1 into u1 plus this total value is c2 into u2 and this total value is the c sub x3 into uh, c sub xp into u sub xp that is taken as equation number one that is the equation for the projection value of small y so after that from equation number one y cap is a linear combination of the vectors in the orthogonal basis okay u sub x i represents that vectors in the orthogonal basis a orthogonal basis loan a vector check a linear combination m and m and rasam y cap okay so that is u1 u2 u sub x p such that y is in w okay such that y is in w so y cap is a linear combination of u sub x i those u sub x i are here we can write u1 u2 person u sub x p so such that y is in w y is in w means we can write y belongs to w later i am considering this value amma capital z is equal to y minus y cap y minus y cap we are considering that value z is equal to y minus y cap since u sub x1 is the first orthogonal vector okay in that set and that is orthogonal to remaining vectors in the set okay u1 is the first orthogonal vector that first orthogonal is orthogonal to remaining vectors okay u2 u3 up to u sub xp so okay it follows from equation number one that so z into u1 okay for equation number one we can write that value z into u1 is equal to y minus y y cap into 
u1 okay so z into u1 for this equation only amma here equation number 1 is nothing but it follows from equation number 2 you can take this value as equation number 2 amma so equation number 2 it follows from equation number 2 okay it follows from equation number 2 that we are multiplying equation number 2 we are multiplying this equation number 2 with u suffix 1 okay so therefore z is the left uh, lhs of equation number 2 so therefore z into u1 is equal to y minus y cap into u suffix 1 so z into u suffix 1 is equal to we have to multiply with u suffix 1 to that vector value y into u suffix 1 minus y cap into u suffix 1 so therefore after multiplying z into u suffix 1 is equal to y into u suffix 1 value we can write as it is minus here we have y cap formula from equation number 1 okay from equation number 1 we have y cap formula substitute the total formula y into u suffix 1 minus u suffix 1 into u suffix 1 okay so the total formula into the remaining value last value will be u suffix 1 so therefore after substitution again simplify z into u suffix 1 is equal to y into u suffix 1 the first value will be as it is okay this first value will be we are writing as it is minus here we are multiplying this total open bracket with that vector value so okay we are multiplying this total bracket so with this vector value so we have to multiply with this total value so therefore then you will get minus y into u1 by u1 into u1 already u1 is there for that value we are multiplying with another u1 okay so therefore similarly if you proceed in this format you will get that the second value also that second value is y into u2 by u2 into u2 into u2 into u suffix 1 u2 into u suffix 1 up to so on so y into u suffix p by u suffix p into u suffix p u suffix p into u suffix 1 okay so in this total multiplication u suffix 1 is the common element amount 